Jennifer Ampson, welcome back to Studio B, Jen. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here a day after you make a very important decision. Let's be honest. Not everybody has multiple options when it comes to playing professional sports. You are in that very unique category. Why did you opt for L.A.? Um, it was a really hard decision, but it, and honestly, it was just the best thing for me right now. So I, that's what I'm going for, and I'm excited about it. Why was that the best thing for you now? Uh, just uh, a lot of things, and there's some better options there, and so, yeah, a lot of things. Living in Southern California is uh, not a bad option, just for any career, but to play basketball and, and do something you obviously love and do it by the beach, that had to factor into it a little bit, didn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, it did, but volleyball's in Anaheim, so either way, I'd go to California, so... Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. So you'll play for the Sparks, and this is um, – yeah, give us an idea of the, the timeline associated with WNBA because it's a seasonal thing, right? Yeah, so they only play for the summer. So June to September is their season. Then a lot of girls will go overseas to uh, make more money, basically. Okay, we'll get to your off-season plans in a moment. But it is, since you are in Southern California, and you mentioned USA Volleyball is in Anaheim, and you've trained with them, is that an option to, you know, in other months, train with USA Volleyball in the off season? Um, I guess it could be an option, but for me, I just want to stick with one for a little while and see what I can do with it. What were your conversations like uh, with the coaching staffs of the Los Angeles Sparks and of, of USA Volleyball and whatnot? Um, I don't know. They were just really open about different aspects of their uh, sport, I guess, and different options that I had, and they obviously each wanted me to come play for them, but I just decided to play basketball. Did you leverage that financially? <laughs> like, like with the Sparks, say, oh, I, you know, I'm thinking about playing volleyball. What do you got for me? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really work like that. <laughs> it could have, though, right? So no is the answer? You didn't leverage it? <laughs> Not really. Oh. Okay. Next time you have a contract situation, I'm, I'm saying, just like throw that in there like, Oh, I got these uh, options from these mythical volleyball teams in Europe, and what do you got? <laughs> then boop, boop, boop. There you go. Jennifer Hampson just joined the Los Angeles Sparks, signed with the WNBA franchise as of yesterday, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it became official yesterday. What, I guess I should say, who helped you make this decision? Did you do it all on your own, or, or were you consulting with people? Um... Like, I was talking to a lot of people, just getting information, all the information that I had. But, like, the actual decision, which one would be better, was pretty much all me. I tried to get help from other people, and they just weren't helpful. So. <laughs> <laughs> Who wasn't just... helpful? No, just kidding. <laughs> when you look at what you're going to do in the off season, because you mentioned it's, uh, you know, June to September, what are, what are your options? What are you thinking about doing in the off season? Um... Honestly, if you want it, you could do whatever you want, but a lot of girls will go overseas and play basketball there, and so I'll probably do the same thing. I've heard Russia is a popular destination. Is that something that interests you if that's available? Um, Living in Russia. <laughs> it's definitely very popular because they pay a lot, but for me starting out, I don't think I want to start out in Russia, so we'll see where I go. Okay. Uh, can you give us a hint about where you might want to go? <laughs> I really don't know a lot about it yet because I haven't played basketball in a long time. So, yeah, I don't know. When's the last time you actually played basketball? Like, just got a ball and played in, in a game? Of any like kind? in a game? In a game, either pick up any kind of game. <laughs> An official game was probably playing UConn. Okay. The, the last game with refs? Yeah. Was UConn. Yeah. Since, since, since then, then it's how just much me and shooting in the gym. That you haven't played like five on five at all in the uh, Richards building. Not really, Nothing. no. Wow. How about volleyball? Since the season ended. Uh no, haven't played since the season ended. And you, except for USA volleyball, that. Well, that yeah. So. Mm -hmm. So you have you relaxed from sports a little bit after the volleyball season? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I actually had to get surgery, so that oh, kind of forced okay. me to what relax. Okay, what surgery? What surgery did you have? I just had a really minor ankle surgery. I kind of messed it up during the volleyball season, so got to fix it. How long, how, yeah, how long were you playing with that? Huh? How long were you playing with an ankle situation? Oh, the whole season. It started in August. And you went to the national championship match. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> That, that kind of worked out, I think. What, what, what exactly happened to your ankle in August? 
Um, we weren't quite sure at first. We thought it was just a bone bruise type of a thing. And then it turned out I got a spur and a piece of my bone was chipped off in there. So they just cleaned it all up and when, now I'm good. Yeah. When did that wow. happen and how is your health now? And My health's great now. It just kind of happened over the season, just playing a lot of volleyball and just got a little bit worse towards the end. Sorry, meaning the surgery. When, when oh, did you have surgery? I had surgery about four weeks ago today. So. Okay. Did the Sparks know this, Jennifer? They did. Okay, good. <laughs> nice. If they didn't, I think, uh, hey, that might be fine. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, let's talk about your team a little bit in Los Angeles. Do you do you know anybody that you're going to be playing with as of now? Um, I've met one player, Candice Wiggins. Uh, she came to a volleyball game, actually, and said hi. Um, I know of Candace Parker, know of her. She's really good. And then actually they've just been signing a ton of new people. They're trying to reorganize that whole team. So I really don't know a lot of people. What kind of lobbying for the Sparks, uh, from the Sparks was there in trying to get you to play? Cause you had the option, you were drafted <laughs> by them, but you didn't have to play for them. Yeah. So they knew that right away that I wasn't going to play for them that first season. And so, I don't know. They were just really patient with me and waiting for me to make my decision. And they obviously really wanted me to come play there. They thought I had a lot of potential with the team. And so, yeah. Were they like sending you postcards from the beach and <laughs> swag? Like, hey, we just want to remind you that we're still here and <laughs> Think, it's still thinking about beautiful <laughs> in Southern California. I mean, was there any of that going on in there? Um, not really. They definitely came, uh, kept in contact. They congratulated me throughout my volleyball season on different things. And I don't know, they kept in contact, but not necessarily postcards. What do you expect, uh, in the WNBA? How do you think you'll do? Um, I honestly don't really have any idea. I'm just going to work hard and hopefully it'll turn out really well. I don't know. I definitely want to become a great player sometime. Is Brittany Griner the only player taller than you? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. They listed you as a defensive presence because they saw what you did with BYU basketball, and obviously they saw your ability in volleyball as well. Is there one game or one facet of your game that you feel like you really need to improve on? Because you've, you've proven yourself defensively, and if, it is, if there is, what, what is it that you want to get better at? Um, I honestly just want to get better at fundamentals because I honestly haven't been playing the game for that long. And so I've kind of just been thrown into it. And so just fundamentals are honestly my weakness, but something I can get better at. So. And maybe three pointers, Jen, I'm looking at your stats <laughs> from your career here. Oh, for two. We can work on that. Can't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Technically, is, I didn't even shoot those. I, I know. Two shots. The, is the uh, three point line in the WNBA different than the college three point line? I don't, I don't know this. I don't know. I don't shoot from there. So yeah, that's a good <laughs> that's answer. That's a great answer. That's a good answer. It's <laughs> a very I know honest where the response. paint. I know where the paint is. I know how high the rim is, so I can dunk it. <laughs> exactly. Right. Jennifer Hampson of the LA Sparks with us on BYU Sports Nation. We love Jeff Judkins. In fact, we talk to him just about every week, and we get a kick out of his personality. I know you were close with him. Uh, what was uh, his message to you when when he found out that you were going to go with the Sparks? Uh, he was just super excited, you know, Judd. So <laughs> yeah, he was just super supportive, and I don't know. Yeah, he was just, just really excited about it. Volleyball uh, had this amazing run. This is the first time we've had the chance to talk to you, and we've really appreciated this new part of our set uh, that we've shown off that Sean Olmstead brought in here. A piece of the court. Your signature is on here. The whole team was fantastic from the national uh, championship run there. What did you enjoy that experience? Did you soak that up as as you made this huge run? Oh, I definitely loved it. Yeah, that's the reason I came back. So, and did you? I mean, we talked about it, and there were these kind of veiled, like, "Yeah, we're good. We're not sure how good. We think <laughs> we'll be really good." Did you? I mean, did you maximize your potential as a team? Um, I think we did. You know, I thought we definitely reached our potential, our goals, and I think we took it even a couple steps further. So. What will you remember most about the NCAA championship match run that you had with this team? Um, honestly, I'll remember those moments with my teammates, you know, huddling up together and celebrating those points that, that we all did good together. And I don't know, those moments are just ingrained in my mind. The selfie game, you know, <laughs> I mean, that, that. Post selfies, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Those are you, are you going to do that with your LA Sparks teammates? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Want, well, that's a challenge to you, Jen. Okay? Oh, okay. We want the first the first time you play a game with the Sparks, I, we want a selfie from Jen Hampson. <laughs> You make that happen? We'll see. All right. All that right. was not a yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We will see. Yes, we will. Congratulations on everything. We wish you the best of luck in L.A. and look forward to uh, following your career. Thank you.